Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. A power quality problem is defined as any problem that causes voltage or frequency deviations in the power supply and may result in failure or more operation of a network. Today, I will talk about the ten power quality problems: over voltage, surges, spikes, transients, frequency. Variation, under voltage, sex, blackouts, noises, and harmonics. Here is the diagram of power quality problems. Power quality can be defined as a clean supply voltage that stays within the prescribed range in a smooth curve waveform. Overall voltage conditions can be defined over the range of a normal voltage or whatever nominal voltage defines. Nominal voltage is a reference voltage used to describe the battery's cells or electronic systems, such as a 12 volt or 24 volt battery. Under voltage is under the lower boundary. The peak is the Extreme condition of over voltage and blackout is the extreme condition of under voltage. We can describe the clean power or high power quality voltage as a steady, smooth sine wave. It is what we want for any computers, servers, or other computing devices in the data center. But in reality. Power quality may have many problems without a proper UPS system. I leave the topic of the UPS system in my next lesson. Here we only focus on power quality issues. The first issue is over voltage. Over voltage refers to the power supply above the normal voltage range. Over voltage can last for minutes to several days. It includes several different conditions such as surges, spikes, and transients. Surges occur over the short term. They may be caused by lightning strikes or switching off heavy loads. In most situations. Power surges are not strong enough to interrupt or damage devices, but they can be very harmful sometimes. In a small office or home office, surge protectors are good enough. Spikes. Spikes are fast, very short duration of voltage increases. They may be caused by Lightning strikes or power outages. Transients are very fast, high voltage increase in terms of nanoseconds. Frequency variation, a change in frequency. Voltage involves wavelengths. The longer the wavelength, the lower frequency. The short the wavelength. The high frequency. The U.S. electrical grid operates at 60 Hz, or 60 cycles per second. Anything but 60 Hz is considered frequency variation. Under voltage is the opposite of the over voltage. It is defined as a condition where the applied voltage drops to about. 90 percent of normal range or nominal voltage value. Under voltage is also known as brownouts. The condition can last for a few minutes to days. Sag, or you may call it dip, if you are British. Potato, potato, the same thing. Sag is the under voltage condition over. The short term, it may be caused by switching on heavy loads. Sex rarely damage 
electronic devices. Blackouts. Blackouts are the total loss of power. Blackouts would bring down the whole network and interrupt normal business operations, and many times is a matter of life and death to a business. Noise. Noise is a high frequency distortion of voltage waveform caused by disturbances. Related to the electromagnetic interference or radio frequency interference. Last but not least, harmonics. Harmonics are a wanted high frequency which superimposed on the fundamental waveform, creating distorted wave pattern. Harmonics are recurring distortion of normal. Wavelength. These ten power quality problems are not equally dangerous. Some of them may just affect the best performance of electronic devices, while some would damage devices, data, or even kill a business overnight. For a large data center, power quality problems means potential disasters. The steady, clean. An uninterruptible power supply is a minimum requirement for business continuity. To guarantee clean and steady power, we need some critical equipment such as generator and UPS system, which is my topic in my next lesson. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much, and see you next time.